Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Coinex and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to properly save project files in FL Studio. And uh, before I continue, I would like to sincerely apologize for being away for some months and also want to appreciate each and every one of you for hanging around and also for returning you know to support and encourage this uh, channel and uh, for those who haven't subscribed yet please uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for future videos uh, without further ado I'm gonna jump right into what I have for you guys today uh, this video is gonna be simple and uh, short so uh, have you ever wondered why when you transfer your file from your studio at home into maybe a bigger studio somewhere else you start facing the challenges like some files are missing some samples are not playing it's because you did not save it the proper way the right way so but this video is gonna clear that and uh, help you understand the importance of making out time and making sure you properly save your files in FL Studio so I'll be starting by using this uh, drum loop a very simple drum loop I made for the demonstration so that is just it it's just for the purpose of this demonstration so uh, to avoid running into issues like some files are missing some samples are not playing this is how it's advised or recommended to save your project files now let's say I want to save it go to file you go under uh, save as you click on it now you first of all choose the destination where you want to save this file okay let's say desktop then you you know you name your file in this case I'm using test <clears throat> excuse me then when after naming it you go down to this save as type which is the last column the drop down menu the last one and you drop it down there are varieties of formats to which you can save your files but in this case we are focusing on saving it as zipped song file bracket open asterisk dot zip bracket close that's the format we're using so when you click it it's very simple you are done just hit your save and I already saved it on my desktop so uh, I'm gonna click yes to replace it so it will take some time and it has saved now the advantage in saving project files like this is not only that is saving the file is as well copying the entire samples you used in making that project into that zipped file into that compressed file so that whenever you transfer this particular project to any studio at all in the world it will still play your sample without stress without putting you through looking for where to get the extra sample and all that so I am not going to go further than this it's simple it's comprehensive just sometimes it's difficult to like put it into practice but try you know culture the habit of saving your files into a zip file format which is zip song file in FL studio so that it's gonna be easy for you to open it anywhere and control it your project so having said this I hope this uh, simple and short tutorial helped someone out there and uh, thanks once again for watching have a wonderful day uh, 
good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending from where you are listening or watching from.